Have you got yourself a Volkswagen Audi 2 litre TDI? Uh, this is off the later model, it's a 2011 Audi A3 S Line 170 brake. Uh, it's recently come up with a EGR fault. Uh, accompanied by metallic rattling noise. Right, I'm going to show you what that is. This is the EGR valve which I've stripped down, but that's all one unit. I'm going to show you what, what I found. Might help you and show you what causes it. You put it on, fault light goes into limp, and it's a metal noise, like scratching. Now, this is the valve here. As you can see, that should open. That's jammed. That should open and shut really easily. Because there's the valve which runs through that opens the EGR. What causes that? Strip this off. There's a gear here. Now initially you can, if you look round, especially Polish websites, you can find that they sell the cog and this piece here. Don't bother. There's a brass little drive inside there, under the circuit board. And the, if you listen to this, hear it? That's what's happened there. It's pulled the teeth off it. it. What it's actually done, it's folded the teeth over. It's a nylon cog. As you can see now, with that, that's now nice and clean, which is the valve in there, CGI and your gate valve. There's the valve right down in the bottom. The gate valve is something completely different, but you can see right down in there, there is, a bit hard to do this, but it's down in there, so that your EGR opens that valve right down in the bottom there. Now, what causes this, what I suspect, what causes the gear to wear on here, it's not really worn on that one, so that's, it's all right, but what causes that to wear, I don't know if you can make it out, especially the, see how the teeth there are all roundy. What causes that, I suspect, is a build-up of pressure. And here's the problem. This is the cooler part. Water comes in here, it's joined in there, so water goes in that pipe, along the EGR, into that channel, along and out. So you can see it that way. So it travels. Oh, so it travels that way. So that's the casing. This is the cooler part, so the water comes in up there, round the bar, through there, in there, in the cooler, goes all round the bars and comes out back to your radiator. Here's the problem. The exhaust gas comes in here, comes through there. If the gate valve is closed, which is normal running, it'll force the ga exhaust gas round back there into that side and through that valve, which then comes out here and into your engine. And here's the problem that causes it. Look at that. That is apps. I mean, th they're supposed to be clear radiator bars. That is slightly blocked. She was actually complaining that she'd lost power. As you can see, it is absolutely rock solid. It's as solid as anything. So, if you find yourself that you've got a two litre Volkswagen Audi Group diesel, and you're thinking about buying the gear instead of the EGR, trust me, the time it takes to do it, which is a bastard. You ain't gonna get it done and remove the DPF, especially if it's an Audi, because they just don't come off without removing the subframe. If you find yourself that you've got one of these, go and buy a new one, 
and replace it, don't bother. Throw this in the bin. They're reasonable enough to buy. Hopefully this helps you. And by the way, I'll try not to do it again.